empties video for you guys today hi guys and thank you so much for watching my videos if you are new to my channel welcome please consider hitting that like subscribe and notification bell so you never miss an episode so i do have an empties video today for you guys a lot of my favorite products that i've already used up some new products that i've tried out that i probably didn't like i'm not 100 sure what's in this bag i it takes me a while because it's just me now it's not me and the my, my daughter and everybody else at the household using items so it takes me a while to collect empties and then sometimes I get so like I just can't have the empty bottle I have to throw it away but I'm gonna try my best to at least do these maybe once a month or maybe every other month I'm not sure yet but I'm gonna try to keep up with that I did do empties in the past I haven't done it in forever so I'm super excited to show you all my empties and give you guys my honest review let's get started So if you guys watched my um, raffle basket video I did, my gift baskets for him and her, you do know that I have a cold, <laughs> summer cold, yay. Um, I guess all the running around um, when the grandkids were here and beach, pool, all that good stuff, it just finally hit me. And my husband had a cold first and I, and I was just like, oh, it's fine, I'll be okay. And then I got it. So I'm trying to stay home today. I spent my last day with my grand girls yesterday and it was amazing i had a blast with them but wore a mask took a COVID test i am a negative for COVID. i just have a cold so i'm just trying to stay away kind of relax today and do some of these videos that i've been meaning to do in house and i have not had a chance to so i'm excited to get these out of the way so i don't have to worry about them anymore or look at this bag anymore so we're gonna jump right in okay so cleaning love this stuff i went and bought another one i actually found it at the dollar tree plus in um i don't remember what state it was i want to say alabama this zep mold stain and mildew stain remover is amazing especially for um if you have hard water we have hard water here in our city and it leaves those hard water spots and um we don't have like a one of those rotating heaters that take up the moisture so we just have a window and a lot of times I don't like to leave it open when I'm taking a shower because I feel like people can look in even though they probably can't they, I just feel that way so I always close it and then I open it and you know you get a lot of uh, water stain a lot hard water stains and um, not necessarily mildew or mold but this stuff it does have bleach in it so make sure you do keep your window open if you do use it it works amazingly well like I bought another one and this one is completely empty so I definitely wanted to share that with you guys if you guys see it they do sell it at Home Depot and it was not three dollars they had it at Dollar Tree in the Dollar Tree plus section for three um, at Home Depot I think I spent like seven or eight so definitely if you have a Dollar Tree plus pick it up there my favorite mouthwash, the Scope Outlast. I used an entire bottle. I do brush my teeth three times a day. I'm a little crazy about it. So use that completely up. Um, one of my favorite toothpaste, the Colgate Optic White. I love this stuff. If you guys always wonder, a lot of you guys, when I first started my YouTube channel, asked me how I got my teeth so white. I used, I always switch out my toothpaste. It's kind of like your hair products or your shampoo. You're not supposed to constantly use it um, because your hair gets used to it and then it doesn't have that effect anymore. But I switch it out with the, I do the same thing with my teeth. I switch back and forth between the Colgate Optic White and the Colgate Max Fresh. Love those two toothpastes. Um, okay, let me move this closer. So I wish I would have gotten another bag so I could just put all my trash in it because this is literally trash. Okay, Hairspray Instant Freeze by Aussie. I've been uh, loving this. I used to be a total, um, was it Rave? Is it Rave? I think it was Rave. Used to be Rave. Tried this out. Love it. This is the Maximum Hold. Works really well on curly hair. And then another thing I loved, and I went through two bottles of these, are the Curls by Aussie, the Miracle Curls love 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 this mousse it was it's my favorite now this is the one i go to you could find it at like target or cvs uh, target's like 3.99 i think cvs is 4.99 and with coupons you can get it pretty cheap um eyelashes love 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 these aqua ardell eyelashes i went through two packages of course i dropped one um the one i love is the 341 i'm actually wearing them today the only thing i don't like about the aqua lashes is the aqua so to activate the glue <coughs> 
excuse me, to activate the glue, you need water. I don't feel like it really works too well, like the activation. Um, I don't really feel like it holds, but if you use your own personal glue and activate it, it works really well. Um, I use these kind of lashes when I film, not necessarily like on a daily basis or if I want to look alive because I feel like I have like sad girl eyes because I'm sick. You know, people get like their eyes look sad when they're sick. That's how I feel. So I put these eyelashes on because they make my eyes pop. I really like them. They're super long. Um, I am on my second pair for the month and I love them. They do last a while for buck 25. It's an awesome deal. Um, the next lash that I really liked are the... Cara Beauty number 48 and these I found actually at the swap meet. I took pictures of them um, because I want to go back and get some more. I don't have a lash to show you guys because I threw them away but they're called Cara Beauty and they're number 48. They work amazingly well and they're only a buck at the swap meet. I'm sure you can probably find them online maybe at Shop Miss A or something like the dollar places um another thing that i loved and i think i have two of these no i only have one okay the lair mercier matte finish finishing spray i love 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 this stuff works really well and i use that like almost on a daily basis i use about two sprays especially if i'm not gonna go out i'm not gonna waste um, my expensive one i'm gonna use this one instead now as far as expensive ones this is my favorite the urban decay all-nighter this stuff is like magic i've even i know this is bad i've fallen asleep with my makeup on had this on my face and my makeup was still intact not like i was like okay time to go i did take my makeup off and reapply but i was amazed that the makeup was still on my face so urban decay all-nighter you'll probably spend about 30 bucks for a bottle but it does last a while if you don't use it daily i use it only on special occasions okay next thing is oh my gosh i've used two bottles of this stuff i am obsessed the frankie rose cosmetics prime addiction guys if you have not tried this stuff by frankie rose or you're like it's too expensive and you only have one option to buy one thing buy this the prime addiction is absolutely amazing first of all they give you a nice size tub of it which means you can get every nook and cranny of the product out i've literally scraped it clean um this is a primer so even when i don't wear makeup i put this primer on my face it just feels amazing it's silicone based and if you're wondering if it works well with sensitive skin it absolutely does i absolutely love this i would highly recommend um you guys know if you've been following me for a while i've always loved the lancome um, primer they had that was silicone based. I've since then switched to this one and as you can see I've used two tubs of it. I absolutely love this primer. It is amazing and I am a brand ambassador for this company so if you wanted to get an extra 10% off you can use the code C4C and order yourself one just to try it out. They also have an amazing return policy if you don't like it and yes it does work well with sensitive skin. It's a great primer to put on before you do your liquid makeup and your powder and stuff. I highly recommend. Um, the powder that I love to use is the Maybelline loose finish power powder in deep 35 I used an entire container actually there's still a little bit left I'd probably squeeze that out but yeah I used a whole one of these I love the Maybelline fit me it's a great like setting powder this is what I usually use when I um, do liquid makeup I set it with that I love that um, I did use the mothballs from the Dollar Tree you guys know that my husband um he has a lot of like dress suits and like nice shirts and stuff and sometimes we get moths okay perfume i've been addicted to is the very sexy now by victoria's secret i actually got an entire bottle of this from um when we went to nashville at their outlet for like 14.99 i was so excited it smells so good it has a it's tropical guava mariposa flower and sora coconut you cannot smell the coconut it has a great florally summer scent that i love so i'm addicted to this this month that's my favorite and then my favorite frankie rose lashes are the wispy babe these work amazingly well if you have not tried the wispy babes highly recommend they do last quite a while i had that for like a month before i actually had to throw the lashes away you can reuse them quite a, for quite a long time um mascaras that i've been loving and that i finally used all of them Oh, I did. I actually have several 
of these um, setting sprays. So I was like, that's really surprising that I only went through one. I've actually went through three. I'm actually going to save these little bottles too. <coughs> they are great for travel. Okay. Um, W7 Lash Flow. Amazing. Um, CoverGirl, the Super Size Fibers. Love. And then the Mega Protein Mascara by Wet n Wild. Those are my three. These are my three go-tos. Use them all. Love them. The W7 was amazing. I actually got this one in one of those, um, what'd you call them? Like those advent calendars, but they were by W7 and they were all makeup. Love that. Hi, Miss Daisy. <coughs> so love those. And then as far as liquid makeup, been absolutely loving the Frankie Rose Matte Perfection Foundation. I've used it till I can no longer get any out. And this one is in Latte 107.5. This is like my summer shade. Love, love, love this one. It's my favorite. Love it. It's great. Full co full coverage. Definitely full coverage. I love the, and I've said this many times, those little concentrated facial serums. They come in like little tubes. You get a package of like 10 of them, I believe. Helps skin appear brighter, easily applies to your skin, and helps the appearance of dark spots. I use this on a daily basis. This is from Dollar Tree, and it's by Be Pure, and it works amazingly well. I used a whole package of that. And then more perfumes that I am done with for, just done, um, bottles are empty. Victoria's Secret Teas, one of my favorites, and then Victoria's Secret Teas. So these are two, as you can see, really old bottles. They've changed them since then, but I finally finished them off. I was excited about that. I was like, you guys are donezo. Um, favorite lipsticks I've been loving. I love the Dreams Do Come True. This is a little matte pink uh, lipstick by Bubba. Um, and you, I found this at the Dollar Tree and I absolutely love it. So went through that. I also went through this beautiful purple by Glitterazzi. This one is in Glamour 1455 from the Dollar Tree. I've used as much as I possibly could before I had to be like, it's donezo. I did go through two eyeliners. First one was Wet n Wild H2O Waterproof. And then one of my favorites, this is top of my game. I love this one, the Lair Mercier Midnight Black. This eyeliner is amazing. I do wear it on a daily basis. Absolutely love it. And I love the felt tip on it. It's actually still some in here. Great felt tip. You have great control. So it's a great eyeliner for a buck 25. Works amazingly well. So I went through those. And then I also went through a sample of the Definitionals Mascara from Lancome. This is actually one of my favorites. I use all the time, but it's kind of pricey. So I don't buy it as often. Um, I did use the China Glade Fast Forward Top Coat. There's still a little left, but it's gotten kind of lumpy since I've had it so long, but it does work really well. Um, I do do my own nails, so finding a good fast drying, fast, fast drying top coat is what's going to help me with my just getting these nails done and going out the door because I hate waiting. So I did pick up another one. It was a definite repeat buy. Um, when I was on vacation, I used a lot of the Aromatherapy Lavender Sleep. I was not allergic to it. Did not harm my skin. I still have a little bit left. I might keep this. I don't think I will, though. It smells so good, and it did help me go to sleep on those long days of, like, doing touristy things and just tired. This was great to have um, to take a nice hot shower, body wash, or foam bath. And this is from Bath & Body Works. It does work really well. And then, of course, a bottle of ibuprofen. This is the Up and Up from Target. And I did go through an entire bottle of Spa Naturals Vitamin E oil. I hope I can find this again at the Dollar Tree. I use this for basically everything. Like, if you got, like, um, if your elbows are really, really dry and crackly, works great on your elbows, on your knees. You can put it on your arms. You can put it on your face. Helps with the dark spots as well and fine lines. I love this stuff. I'm really praying I find another one because I went through the entire bottle and I I used it so much, not only on my skin, my face, I used it on my hair. It was an amazing, amazing thing. And guys, that is my empties for the month. Quite a few items I did go through. I don't think I have any items that I really didn't like too much, but we did go through quite a bit. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
gives you some ideas of what I use in the month and what I'm really loving. So found a lot of stuff I do love. Um, I just wanted to give you a friendly reminder. I do have several subscriber prizes up for grabs. I will link those at the end of this video. They'll be pinned in the comments. Please feel free to go ahead and take a look at those and enter. I hope you guys are having a fabulous, blessed day. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. And remember, if you like these videos, please remember to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. And I, I'm going to be talking to you guys real, real soon. I'm going to go get this video uploaded and I'm going to sleep. I'm going to get some rest. So hopefully tomorrow I feel 100%. I doubt it, but you never know. You guys stay blessed. Don't forget to check out that basket DIY thing I just did. I'll link that at the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.